Contractions going through my my arm. The doctor said right. he said. Uh, like, I don't think he played tennis because no, I, no. I know that's just the name. The medical name for it is tennis elbow. So oh, it's okay. just basically, I thought it was from. I'm like, did damn, did she play tennis? So, uh, this no, because when said, they told me, I was like, what the hell, tennis elbow? But yeah, it's basically an overextension of your hand. Like I favor my, because I'm right-handed, so it was in my right hand. And I'm like, why I couldn't have got it in my left hand? Because I'm I'm right-handed. That's the hand that I use the most. But yeah, it comes from overextension. So if you squeeze in your mouth, so now I have this um, little thing that, uh, a, like a little soft thing that I put on my hand, like when I'm working and stuff from squeezing my mouth. Because that's how you get it. You using your mouse too much or you using that hand like I have my cell phone. If you constantly scrolling on your cell phone or hold something in your right hand, that's uh -huh. how you can. It, it, that's it's my how it, pinky. My pinky fucked up from um my cell phone. Like, look at this pinky. It's over, but this pinky's fine because I be I be holding my uh -huh. cell phone. Yeah, yeah, it, it, rests on, it rests on the pinky. You know yeah, that, you know look that at my can pinky. happen. Look at the and difference. It can, the next, yeah, next. it can happen to your neck too. We had yeah. a patient that basically had um, scoliosis in the neck from them bending over. And when I see my my from, niece from doing lashes it, and shit. No, no, from bending over using the phone. You know how when you hold your phone in front of you, you need to have your posture correct. Well, like when you like this. When you. If you have your phone in front of you, you know how you reading something on your phone and your head is right. positioned down? Uh -huh. You have to be careful with that. Oh, because... oh like if you look it down, oh shit. Yes. 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 Yeah, my pinky is ugly as hell. I'm like, I was looking the other day. I'm like, why my pinky look like this? I'm like, oh my God, from holding my cell phone. And there's like yeah. a curve in my pinky from where my phone sits. On my pinky, you get the little <laughs> ring yeah. thing to put in your put your, to yeah. hold your phone. Put they, your they, finger like that. There's an oh, the pocket thing. thing. The thing yeah. that you put on the back that you could just kind of hold. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do need to get one of those because I'm like, ew. You, you gonna be, look at, you, you look gonna, at all that. You're gonna be 40 and your shit gonna be looking at a 90 degree yeah. angle, looking crazy. And the nigga, like, I ain't fucking with yeah. that. Because this one's fine. This pinky's fine. But this pinky, I cannot get it to go like with my other finger. Shit. <laughs> The doctor yeah. told Latanya, he said, listen, Latanya, you can't stop. El if you elbow another bitch, you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be full blown. Latanya don't elbow. She, she no, back, now back in the days I was elbowing some bitches <laughs> when I was in high school, but no, nah. <laughs> I don't do that no more. I'm changed. I'm a changed person. Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So like this, this little video clip real quick. This exactly. Video, here's the video. I will slap a bitch quick now. Here's this uh, clip on these uh, people in uh, Australia that's walk on all fours. All right, Dre. Let me see it. Let me see. Click on your screen. Breathing men and women, but they walk on all fours, just as we did for. Oh hell no! And until this film was shot. They were hidden away. That must be painful. Now, all that weight on your ribs. And this is like, you know what I mean? A remote village in Turkey. Oh, shit. The market oh, urban. You said Australia. <laughs> oh, I guess they said Turkey. very existence could rewrite the evolution textbooks. It was really fascinating. You know, here are humans doing things that they're not meant to be doing. For the past year, their existence has been known to just a handful of experts who have been sworn to secrecy. When I heard of it myself, I was intrigued, but nothing prepared me. that must be, because, ooh. That shit now, look crazy. Now, finally, the secret can be revealed. How do they even fuck? <laughs> Immediate response. From the back? I couldn't believe my eyes. I... She already get into it, ain't she? She like, ah. Yeah, that shit wobbling too from the back. He's like, I'm trying to hit that, but she keep moving. Look at his teeth grind. He's like, ah. In scientific terms, it was the equivalent of finding living, breathing fossils. 
human beings who had never made the evolutionary leap of standing upright. The quest to find out why... They really did were born this place? ...an amazing journey and raised profound questions they, about what it is to be human. Look at that. These, and these, these are niggas who probably Talks existed like this for centuries and well, thousands oh of years. Oh my God, they never evolutionized the standing? Shut he's struggling. It's what defines us as it's human in beings. In many ways, yes, of course, there's language and all sorts of other things too, but um, it's terribly important to our sense of ourselves as, as being different from, from others in the animal kingdom. These people cross that boundary. Professor Nick Humphrey is an evolutionary psychologist. He first heard of the family through a medical paper produced by Turkish scientists. It looks as if we really did have something rather like a throwback in evolution, a turning back of the evolutionary clock. Um, and the Turkish professor who invited us there, that's the way he thought about it. And in fact, others in the scientific community took up that line and said, yes, here, for all the world, is a, is a genetic problem which has undone uh, the last three million years of evolution, returned them to a primitive stage. So I'll return them to a primitive state. So all that shit, they slick shit they try to say about black people, even though there's them niggas in certain areas that might be fucked up, this right here, I don't want to hear nothing from these devils. These niggas is walking on all fours like Captain Caveman. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're saying they never revolutionized, but they literally have never stood. It sounded like the anthropological find of the millennium. They the never stood. That's not. That scientists dream of. If the family proved to be true quadrupeds walking on all fours, they may provide the elusive missing link between man and ape. Humphrey set out for Turkey with the scientific team to record. He said, I must go out here and see what these bastards it's look a very like. Exciting moment to us. Um, we don't know quite what we're going to expect from whether we'll really see quadrupedal humans. I don't know. It's never been reported in scientific literature. And yet this shorty's standing, so clearly she don't got the issue. <laughs> she hanging up laundry and shit. <laughs> then he gonna be like, he gonna walk up on her. If this happened, I'm gonna die out laughing. He gonna be like, yo, where the people that walk on their hands and feet? She gonna be like, over there. <laughs> okay, go, play it. Rajit Ulus and his wife have an astounding 18 children. 12 what? were born healthy, but six had a unique disability. This is Gulen. He staggers as if he's drunk, but he's not. There's something wrong with his balance, but he's still on two feet, not four. Mm. Then, one by one, the other children appear. Oh there my. are four girls and one young man. Hussein has walked like this for 28 years. 28 years, yo. Very revealing for anthropologists, people who study early human evolution. Oh because my God. What have done is to reinvent or rediscover a form of locomotion which very likely does correspond pretty closely to the way our ancestors walked. I say, don't feel look rough, the boy. The children are aged between 18 and 34. They all still live at home, cared for by their brothers and sisters, and their parents, now in their 60s. So far as we knew, no other case like the one in front of our eyes ever been described before. There were no reports in the scientific literature of adult human beings walking on all fours. And so um, we... You know, we, we realized we had a, a major phenomenon in front of us to explain from a scientific point of view, but also, of course, a major tragic human story. I don't want to hear that tragic shit, nigga. Fossils tell us we probably first became bipeds around four million years ago. Since then, we have become beautifully adapted for moving on two feet. So why, for the first time in eons, are human beings again walking on four? There was a certain amount of speed that... that, that uh, this, this guy, Hussein, can, can outrun me, yes. <laughs> Hussein can travel for kilometers like this. The skin on the heels of his hands is as thickened as it is on his feet. Yeah, yeah it has to be. Walking through pedal puddles and shit? Like that. That, it's cool. They don't push on them at all. They, they just... They, they, they actually just do... Yeah, they, they just use the, this. Um, on the very soft... Uh, the bombs. You know, they will put their fingers down, but on a rough surface, they don't let their fingers touch the ground. 
boy. I know them, them calluses is hella thin. Especially Shorty right there. She... The Turkish scientist who first discovered them believed the children had devolved. But Professor Humphrey suspects the problem is more likely genetic. Yeah. Parents are second cousins and could have passed a faulty Ooh. gene onto some. But not Said the parents were children. second cousins. It's very bad luck that the it said that wait what i didn't hear that part yeah let me scoot it back hopefully it shows it in the little all right right there the parents are second cousins oh shit. A faulty gene onto second cousins that's too much i wonder why these second niggas... cousins that's your that your mom's that your mom's dad's brother's child some, but not all of their children. It's very bad luck. That the and then the shorty standing up here with the red, you see that mom. Well, they said they had 13 kids and, this, and six of them. Yeah. This nigga that's standing, you see them stumbling like, unless that's the one that walked like he drunk. If, yeah, I'm sure the ones Recession. that don't walk on fours probably have that stumbling gene that the dad has. There is something wrong with their brains, but that still doesn't explain why they walk like animals. In the mud, Oof, it's crazy. a scientific puzzle, so but for the children themselves, it's meant a life of misery. I'm sure there's hostility towards the family in the village. The local kids taunt Hussein. We can stand. See, now that's that's so he can stand though. <laughs> yeah, for a minute it looked like, you know what I mean. But to Let's move from point A, yeah. But the fact I paused it because them kids was dirty. Them kids was grimy. <laughs> Making fun of that nigga. If that was you my, know, kids is kids is mean as hell. <laughs> I would have had to clap one of them little niggas. Our nigga have been crawling. What? Bop bop. You talking shit to me, bitch? You see, I'm fucked up. <laughs> All right, but anyway. Beaten up by the kids of the village. Oh my god, then beaten up! Yeah, Thank see, they would have to. Them kids are not about to beat me up now. Yeah, they no. are. Yeah. They are. The team takes the family to a local private hospital for brain scans. Oh! Shorty said, What is this contraption? Back in Britain by anatomist Roger Keynes. This is Hussein's brain. There is something very striking which hits you immediately. You see it. It's very clear that in the middle of the cerebellum here, what's called the vermis, it's shrunk. The brain damage is the same in all the affected children. And do we have Safia's brain here too? Yes. That's this one here. Same again. Very striking. But the shrunken cerebellum is not enough to explain why the family can't walk upright. In a case reported last year in well, England, well, okay, a she... young man presented without any cerebellum, but he could still walk. It doesn't in itself account for their walking on four legs, because other children who have damaged cerebellum, even children who have no cerebellum, Hail to the motherfucking low. So Y'all watching some TV again or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we you are the worst. I know, right? The face is like that neighbor that pop up out of nowhere last minute. Like, right. Now we was watching <laughs> this joint on these people who walk in all fours in 2023. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some genetic. Because uh, you know, the parents are incest. Exactly. Why well, can't see that shit? Oh, they got a movie like that in uh, called Bright Mode, bro. The hood I was just uh, moved from. <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy. They made that movie for the hood about some fucking incest ass people that kidnap women. With ba what you mean? I can't even hear the movie. Yeah, I gotta I be pause, cool. I pause that right now. Yeah, do your thing, man. Do your thing. Yeah, you know, shit. This this is just being extended episode that starts off well, one boy. way and becomes something else. <laughs> It's a podcast recording. Yeah, yeah, we live. We've been live, but fuck it. You know, it's face show. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Hey, man, I'll be missing y'all when y'all don't know here. Y'all know that, right? Hey, do you, uh, did you get the situation or at least get the order put in for the glasses or they not? They 250 in lens. 250 in lens. Uh, lens? 
Uh, our two Drake, he doesn't have insurance. Look, you might need to send me a pair of old glasses, and I might have to drop, you know, slide through to my spot and be like, I got take. some Christian Dior's you can have, bro. You might love them. And, uh, you know, I mean, they'll put the joint in there for you, you know what I mean? These niggas is funny. Like, because, like I said, my Versace joints, I'm mad that them shits ain't turned. They turned light gray. And like, I was like, no, I want my shit black like the shit was. Because they was in prescription glasses. They were regular joints like out of Macy's. But I told them to make them prescription and then flip back to the sunglasses. Yeah, nah, I feel But, yeah, if you got some old joints or whatever, maybe next to my slide through to the goddamn uh, my joint, you know, see what they talk about and just throw it under my insurance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause I don't be paying hardly nothing for like little shit like that to put in different lenses and prescription and shit. Yeah, but you only get so many pairs a year, Dre, with your insurance. So right before I started this job, for so mad, for, mad, for mad years, my wife insurance when I was using her shit, I was able to get two pair of designer glasses every year for like for two hundred dollars total. I would get. Two pair of the different designer glasses. Prescription. Yeah. Okay. And, and each one is like four hundred, damn near five hundred. Yeah, you know. What My I mean? Versace was five hundred. Five hundred with the you prescription. Lifetime. You get lifetime no, warranty. No, without on. the prescription. Oh. You get a lifetime warranty on Miches and Gazelles up here, though. Yeah. So, you know. And don't let them beat that. Fingers crossed coming into this new situation. If the fire, if the if the benefits is super fire, then yeah. Then I'll be like, yeah, send me, you know, whatever you need to um send, and I'll have them niggas hug them shits up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially if they allow you to do two or more glasses each year. But um my warrants be appear for the for the gazelles and motherfucking me shades, dog. I gotta get back on my Macy shit too. These niggas, see, fucking with these niggas, boy. Don't let them, don't let them get that shit all lined up and everything. Woo. I'll be back at Macy's probably once every couple of months to see the little young joint at the uh, the little sunglasses section. You know what I'm saying? That was probably the main reason why I was going through there. But uh, you know. All right, but anyway, back to these niggas crawling on all fours. Man, I can't even hear that shit, bro. I'm about to. <laughs> oh, I, I gotta click on the video to hear it. Yeah, exactly. The opinion was that this is not really possible. Hold on, this shit draining my brain. Let alone that it's genetic. Professor Stefan Mundlus believes the Ulas family's blood may hold one of the greatest secrets of science. So these niggas is poor. The gene for walking around. So boom, real quick. Oh, he left. How our ancestors did behave. They have rediscovered a way which we would never have thought about. Nobody had suggested that our ancestors are what we're calling wrist walkers. But Professor Humphrey begins to suspect there are more basic reasons why the Ulas children never stood up. When they were babies, they crawled as usual on hands and knees. Then at around nine months, they started walking on their feet and hands. Mm. With no local health service, no one was there to encourage the clearly disabled children onto their feet. Uh. We don't know why nobody interviewed. That's crazy. It was probably just, I hate to say it, I have to use um, Money Man's sideline. line. She was a bad trader and a bad mother. Them four <laughs> little niggas. She forgot to stand them up so that they could walk around and just continue praying to let them niggas keep crawling around because she was busy. Yeah, trying to, that's trying to weird. Cook, trying to do the laundry, trying to, you know, do whatever. Cut, yeah, too many kids. Yeah, she was trying to cut heads off a of chicken and shit. And shit. <laughs> like, goddamn. And these niggas just fell to the wayside. Why they didn't do the simplest things they might have done to help them and to bring them on as would have happened in, in Melbourne or in London or in New York. <laughs> Incredibly, no one had even thought to provide them with a thirty dollar walking frame. Come on, come on, said, come up. There was an astonishing transformation. The children who had never taken a step upright on two legs 
by using this friend to walk across the room with such delight in their faces. And the Damn, Hutt's Hutt Hall told just crashed, crashed into the corner of the gym. Into the world they never imagined they could ever enter. And then she saw you yeah, them parents are weird, because why did you just let this... And why these niggas got 8,000 pillows on the side? The children, ...and installed parallel bars in the yard to encourage them upright. Okay. There we go. Gives new hope. Look, them niggas are smiling now. A big thing. A huge I don't know why the dad wouldn't. That's crazy. Tells and look at Shorty. She's smiling like a motherfucker. She said, I can stand up now. <laughs> yeah, no one ever encouraged them. That's the thing. Properly, she could go to dances and meet her husband. Nah, but they still ain't gonna blaze, though. But unfortunately, the physiotherapist holds little hope that Hussein will ever walk upright. He thinks it's too late for him. So that nigga just too gangster. Oh no. Hussein's despair and anger are obvious. Only his friendship with the family dog seems to calm him. Oh no. Well, yeah, because they're the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I come away with uh, renewed respect for the human spirit. For how human beings in the most disadvantaged circumstances. He talking all that fly shit. I hold respect for the human spirit, but yet if it was some niggas like that, he was like, yeah, they're savages. They're, they're primitive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, devil. Don't try to talk that fly shit, trying to make these niggas seem like they just so uh, amazing and this and that. If these niggas was in Nigeria, Kenya walking like that, but like I told you, they were fucking animals. These primitives. Yeah. But I, I am happy as the father of humanity. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that these um, individuals are able to walk up right now. At least, you know, whatever. Yeah, they should have been tried that. They're, they're weak for that. The parents is super weak. They should have been had them niggas. I yeah. Did. Even when I was babysitting my little sister. How do you sister, like? How do you just okay with your child walking like an animal outside on the dirt? Like I've been used to. Like when I used to babysit my sister and she was a toddler, I would always try to stand her up. Even if <laughs> even if she would keep falling down, but I would be standing her ass up. Stand up, little nigga. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, play it. <laughs> and nonetheless, triumph over the adversity. Uh, no matter what they have to do to maintain their, their pride and their, and, and, and their sense of themselves. Scientists still believe the Ulas family has much to tell us about our ancient ancestors. But life for the family must go on. And in January this year, Professor Humphrey's team returned to Turkey to check on them. It looks as if in the month or two since we made this very small intervention, you might think, all of the children are now to some extent walking independently on their back legs, which is both a wonderful thing for them and you know how extraordinary that you can you can parachute into people's lives and make such a difference to them. All right, don't tell me he's gonna cry now. But there was no sign of Hussein. She was about to kill that man. thought he was the least likely of the family to make progress. But then. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah. shit, Hussein! That nigga walking, baby. Come, that nigga coming into you. He ready to hit the club right now. Link in our evolutionary chain and found another. The moment our ancestors stood up. And started smoking and everything. You know what I mean? He couldn't smoke when he was down on the ground. That nigga like shit. Like what, nigga? I hit you with two step. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, Dre, stop. But now, you know, I'm happy that the niggas, you know, finally, you know, got some kind of remedy for their situation. Yeah, that ain't right. That ain't right. But, uh... You can't just live your life like that. Like, the parents are retarded. Yeah, the, the Why parents... Why would you just go... Make them a, a stick. You can go into the wilderness. Here, some here's a walking stick. Some <laughs> The parents deserve... They, quit, they took a major L... The way they handed them kids on that. Yeah. Well, because they're cousins, they probably can't think straight. Got them niggas. Yeah, that's, that was some crazy shit right there.
that was just crazy. 